Hey everyone, I'm Srishtika Neelakantam, Developer Advocate for Ably Realtime. In this video, I'm going to show you Ably's new plugin for the Flutter community using a chat app built with this plugin. The Ably Flutter plugin is a wrapper around our fully featured Coco and Java client library SDKs, providing iOS and Android support for those using Flutter and Dart. Before I get into the details of the chat app, let me quickly tell you a bit about Ably. Ably offers real-time messaging infrastructure as a service, using which you can enable cross-platform real-time messaging in your apps and services. It primarily operates over WebSockets and offers a range of other real-time protocols like MQTT, SSC, etc. to choose from depending on your use case. With that in mind, let's see the working of this chat app. Here I have two emulators running my Ably Flutter chat app, one each for Android and iOS. They are set up to communicate in real-time via Ably's real-time infrastructure. So when I type a message in one of these devices, let's say, hey, how's it going? And send it off. I see that arriving in my other phone. The same way when I send a message here saying, it's going good, and send it off. I see that it's come in real time to the other phone as well. So let's quickly look at the Ably code behind this um, chat app. We begin by importing the Ably plugin like so. And in the init state method of this state, I call a method to create a new Ably real time instance. To create that instance, I supply ably.realtime with a few client options to instantiate the client with. Here I just have the client ID and my secret Ably API key. When I have that instance, I listen for various connection events that occur on that instance. When the connection event turns to connected, I'm ready to do some real-time messaging on this client. So I begin by attaching to a new channel called Flutter Chat. Now channels are conceptual uh, units in which data is shared in Ably. You can have different channels for different kinds of data that is shared and depending on that, different participants who are subscribing or publishing to these different channels. Um, I'll call this Flutter chat channel, chat channel, and then call a method to subscribe to channels. In that method, I call the subscribe method on that chat channel and save it in a variable called message stream. Then I listen to updates on that message stream. Whenever a new message is published on that channel by any of the clients, Ably will send me a message here and this callback will be invoked. When that happens, I'm simply uh, doing all of the app logic and essentially inserting a new message into my array of messages that I'm showing in the chat screen. I also have the publish my message method which is called every time you hit on the send text button on the chat app that you saw. Uh, when this happens I take the same channel which is the chat channel we created before and publish a new uh, message with the sender and text info so the receivers will know which user has sent this new message and what that message is and display that accordingly in the UI. That's pretty much it on the Ably part. It's that simple to include Ably's powerful real-time infrastructure in your Flutter app. That being said, this plugin is still experimental and we'd love to invite some beta testers to try this project out. So if you're a Flutter developer who's interested to add highly scalable real-time messaging to your app with Ably, please feel free to check out this open source project and reach out to us via hello at Thank you and see you then.